you think about the future of humanity, it's going to fundamentally bifurcate in two directions, or life as we know it. Either it's going to become multiplanetary, or it's going to be confined to one planet until some eventual extinction event. The, the goal with SpaceX is to um, improve rocket technology and spacecraft technology and, and keep, keep improving it every year until ultimately uh, we're able to send people to, to Mars and establish. Elon Musk, founder of SpaceX, on wanting to colonize Mars. I mean, who doesn't? But Mars aside, that is nothing compared to his announcement that Tesla is dramatically expanding its network of superchargers from New York to L.A. This is the same man behind PayPal and SpaceX and SolarCity. So is he batty or brilliant? I can never figure it out. Here to weigh in are Bill Nye, the science guy, and Jonas Max Ferris, MaxFunds.com co-founder. Great to have you both on. Bill Nye, the science guy, let me ask you first. Are we going to go colonize Mars? Is there, I mean, what is he talking before? He says, we, you know, we've got to go colonize Mars before we become extinct. These are like the two options. Do you see those as the two options? Well, I don't see them as the two options. And, uh, but nevertheless, uh, the word colonize might be an extraordinary word. And uh, he might be talking about centuries hence. I mean... Five, six, a thousand, six hundred, a thousand years from now to have a colony on Mars. Yeah, sounds like a long time. Okay, uh, a couple hundred years. Uh, Here's the deal: if you if you want to live on Mars, I tell everybody go live in Antarctica for a couple years to see what you think. Not not near the coast, not near the ice sheet. Uh, no, go go to the dry valley where it hasn't snowed for a couple hundred years. Yeah, and it's 20 below at noon. But that aside, what SpaceX is doing that's so. Uh, is so uh, admirable and worthy and great is they're working hard to lower the cost of space exploration. No, that, that makes a lot, lot of sense, but I, I just I want to yeah. stick to the first point just for one more second. I mean, it, it, the idea is eventually we're not going to be able to live here and we have to go find another planet. Do you agree with that or disagree with that? Well, I mean, when the sun gets to be, uh, starts to be a red giant and it expands out to the orbit of the Earth, yeah, we will have to do something else. Now, oh. it is presumed, based on evolution, that we won't look much as we do now, but it is our dream yeah. as uh, genetic organisms that our genes will be out there in uh, several hundred years, a hundred uh, or maybe million years. When, when will that happen, that the sun's going to expand so much it's going to just fry us to death? It's How a soon billion, is that? It's on the order of a couple billion years. Yeah. Okay. Um, listening to all this, Jonas, does it make you feel good as an Elon Musk investor? <laughs> sure, or does it make you nervous as uh, an investor in his, <sighs> in his previous genius? I mean, PayPal, wow, sold to eBay for $1.5 billion. SpaceX, you know, not turning a profit as far as I know, but, you know, doing some great stuff. Um, Tesla, absolutely on fire. What do you think? You feel good about him or you get a little nervous? Um, Elon hasn't had a failure since he was like 12 and he wrote this software game and sold it for like 500 bucks. So it's really hard to see a pattern of failure or any risk as a shareholder. But okay. at the same time, he's a little crazy. There's really no question about it. And I, and I do think they kind of keep him quiet on certain, some issues. The con and it slips out in these sort of interviews, and you're like, wow, this guy's really from another planet. Yeah. And, uh, you know, he, 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 first of all, he's not talking about a billion years from now. He's talking our lifetime moving yeah. to Mars. Like, somehow that's going to ever work out with the fuel problems and how far that is, and, and who's going to go when the meteor's going to hit here. Like, it, it, it's because a lot of dot-com billionaires like sci-fi stuff. Yes. He was married, yes. I believe, to a fantasy writer at one point, and they have billions of dollars, so they could literally put these things into action and, and start space companies and things. And uh, for example, well, I, think she was a, I think she's a novelist. I think she writes romantic little, novels. But yeah, little, anyway, go on. Uh, yeah. Mysterious. Um, uh, he also believes in something called hyperlooping, which I keep thinking this is some fake thing on the internet. But he thinks there's a way to get from San. He, he doesn't like the bullet trains in California because he thinks there's a way to get from San Francisco to LA in under 30 minutes that costs less than a bullet train. It's some sort of like railgun okay. thing. It's totally whack. So, so Bill Nye, as a science guy, do you feel like Elon Musk is a pioneer? He is a visionary that he thinks outside the box. Is he a little bit crazy? Is he both those things? I mean, what is your real sciencey medical opinion here? Well, he's a genius, okay? And here's what he's doing. He is hiring the right people. I say this all the time. So he's got this idea. See, a lot of people want to send science experiments to Mars. 
Uh, and so there's a commercial, there is a, uh, a business model for this. And he and his uh, people, many, many of whom are former NASA employees, are working on a system to enter the Martian atmosphere at a much less, uh, nominally, much less complex approach, using uh, retro rockets to create a big envelope of drag rather than a supersonic parachute and a sky crane and so on. And this sounds extraordinary. But if he's able to, or his company, his colleagues, are able to lower the cost of getting to Mars to where it's on the order of, I'm picking a number out of the air, a billion yeah. dollars rather than $40 billion, it could very well change the world's. Okay. And by the way, you say, you know, his company SpaceX isn't profitable, but they are providing a service. Oh, yeah. In, in the United States, everybody are from both sides of the aisle No, I, I'd much rather do it privately. People I, I hear you, and I, well, I think it's fantastic. So, well, there's an irony, right? Yeah. Well, there's an irony because uh, the same people that w that insist on keeping uh, NASA jobs in their districts are nominally people that would want pri the private sector. Real to quick handle. before we go, Jonas, buy, sell, hold or on Elon. What do you think? What's, what's As your a person, a buy. I think he's a long. They're going to make a movie about him someday, and it'll probably have Johnny Depp starring him because they have this kind of same kind of wackiness. But he's right, and his successes have been consolidating these crazy ideas into doable. Into small something things. that's meaningful. That's how PayPal was once this plan to take on Citigroup, right. and now it became this this little money thing and was successful. Okay, guys, thanks so much. Appreciate it. That was a lot of fun. Oh, no. All right.